and when Arvind Kejriwal became the Chief Minister of Delhi on the 20th of December last year, it was regarded as a watershed moment in Indian politics when people's government was sworn in. 49 days on, the AAP government ceases to exist, leaving behind the unkept promises and a lot of controversies. Shivaru takes you through the highs and lows of the AAP government. On the 8th of December, that's when the Ahmadmi Party recorded that spectacular win in the Delhi Assembly elections. Everyone remembers these pictures of Arvind Kejriwal waving from the same balcony, remember, where he just announced his resignation. December the 28th is when Arvind Kejriwal was finally sworn in as the youngest chief minister of Delhi. It wasn't at the Raj Bhavan. It was here in front of thousands of his followers, many of them workers of the Aam Aadmi Party as well. On the 30th of December, just two days after he was sworn in as chief minister, Arvind Kejriwal delivered on his first promise. He promised about, uh, to, to de deliver almost 700 free litres of water to each and every household. On the 30th of December, he made that promise. On the 31st of December, he made his second big promise. He came good on it and that was the 50% uh, cut in electricity tariffs in the country. On the 2nd of January, Arvind Kejriwal had his first day in the Delhi Assembly. Everyone remembers this day. He was cloistered between the BJP on the one side and the very hostile Congress on the other side. On the 11th of January, Arvind Kejriwal had that infamous Janata Darba right outside the Delhi Secretariat. Everyone knows what happened. It had to be aborted simply because of the huge crowd chaos. On the 20th of January, another big day in the 49-day chief ministership was the Dharna, the street protest that Arvind Kejriwal held against the Delhi police and the Home Ministry. On the 11th of February, just three days ago, he raised his pitch and his campaign against corruption to possibly the greatest height. He took on and targeted Mukesh Ambani. And finally, what we saw today were the dramatic scenes inside the Delhi Assembly. Just hours after these scenes played out, dramatic scenes live on television, you know, for the first time perhaps in history where the, 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 the transpirations inside Delhi Assembly make for national television. He resigned, he went back to that same balcony where he recorded that spectacular victory where flowers of adulation had fallen down on him and he said that he will be resigning as Chief Minister of Delhi.